This is uh, the tag for uh, the seed that we're going to plant today. Every bag of seed that's sold in the United States requires what's called an analysis tag. This tag um, tells what is in the bag and it tells the name of the specific varieties. It tells something about something called crop and inert and weed and noxious weed. And what I've picked because I want a really nice clean lawn, uh, I don't want to fight weeds and you know sometimes I'm going to have to fight some anyway and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I've picked a blend where there's three tall fescues that I know are really good tall fescues, Rendition, Titan Limited, Kitty Hawk, with a little bit of bluegrass. There's about 10% bluegrass in there. And what that's going to give me, it's going to give me a lawn that uh, is going to have um, the deep roots of tall fescue. And one of these tall fescues, Titan Limited, has some ability to spread by rhizomes. And then the bluegrass is just going to kind of help nicely knit in uh, the whole lawn. That's my plan, and uh, and this is the blend that I've chosen. There's all sorts of blends, depending on the, what part of the country that you're in. Uh, your local garden center uh, should be able to recommend a blend for your application, whether you want to irrigate it, whether you don't want to irrigate it, whether you want to mow it a lot, not mow it a lot. Um, all those things, there's, there's all sorts of great seeds out there, and what you want to do is you want to pick a blend uh, or a straight uh, component that will fit your need. Uh, I mentioned weeds. Now, what I've done here is I've brought in soil. And I got a good idea. It looks like it's nice soil, but I don't know exactly what's in that soil. That soil might have lots of weeds in it. And so when I plant this, and all of a sudden a bunch of weeds come up, I may think, well, you know, I bought seed and the seed didn't have any weeds in it. They ripped me off because they said there was no weeds in it. Anytime we turn soil, whether it's existing soil and we turn it under or we bring in new soil, there's typically weeds in there. It's just part of the neat way that uh, uh, seeds hold their life in them. Uh, they can hold it maybe for years and be dormant. It's, it's kind of a neat thing except when it's weeds, but uh, in this case uh, I'm going to expect some weeds and I'll take care of those as they come, um, but uh, I'm going to plant the, the best seed that I can get in the meantime.